What's up, Fight Fans? Keener from Kinke TV here. And in this video, I want to talk about why Stipe Miocic will beat Cain Velasquez once they get in the ring. Now, why is this the case? Why? What makes me say this? Before I get into it, I will be making a video where I go down and talk about why Cain Velasquez will win. So be sure to subscribe and stay on the lookout for that video. But regardless, let's get into it. What makes me say Stephen Miocic will beat Cain Velasquez are a lot of factors. So I'm just going to go in here and talk about the fight and break it down into categories. But first, I want to break them down stylistically. So let's start. Striking. Who has the striking advantage? I would say Stipe. Why? Now Stipe is a type of guy that's been overlooked throughout his entire career. But besides that, his striking is overlooked also. In my opinion, he has the one of the best striking games at the at the UFC heavyweight division. But more importantly, he knows how to come forward, take a step backwards, fight on the back foot, fight sideways, know, knows how to evade a punch, and knows how to counter. That right there is very, very important. Because Cain Velasquez lacks those. The only thing Cain Velasquez knows how to do is to come forward and put pressure on him. Now, more often than not, Cain Velasquez is smothering his own work. That's just true. He just because he's coming so much forward, he's smothering his own, you know, his his own punches, his own strikes, and that causes a for less effective punches and just a lack of speed. So all around, I would say Stipe is more polished when it comes to the stand-up game, the clinch game. I would say Cain Velasquez will win this um, game right here. I think Cain Velasquez is just better at grappling than Stipe. The wrestling, who has the wrestling advantage? In my opinion, this goes to both fighters. One way we can say Cain Velasquez has the better wrestling skill, better fundamentals. On the other hand, we can say after all of that layoff, after that big hiatus he's on right now, can he come back and maintain wrestling conditioning? In my opinion, a safe bet right now is to go with no. Stipe Miocic probably has the better wrestling cardio, wrestling stamina. So that way, I can give a point to them both. So then, the all-around cardio, who does that go to? In my opinion, Cain Velasquez's cardio is a bit overrated. I think so. It's a bit overrated because he has fought Junior DeSantos twice. No, wait. Yeah. He's fought him twice for five rounds. And honestly, if his fight against Junior DeSantos, all he really had to do was just be himself. He didn't really have to adapt. He didn't really have to, you know, face adversity. The only thing that he really had to do was just keep on doing what he did. And, you know... Even in that fight, he didn't really have to adjust his game plan that much, and he still was a big gas, you know, to the fifth round. So, the question is, is he is he going to suffer from the same mistake that he did against Fabricio Verdum? You know, where he came up short in the altitude and whatnot. Supposedly, you know, that was the reasoning behind it. In my opinion, okay, it might be true, but I think it was also a lot. He he had a lot of ring rust. And that really played a major factor going into the fight, and maybe that was, you know, the big, the big reason why he didn't even, you know, make it to the, to the final bell. He got finished against Verdun. Then he had another year layoff, I believe. Then he fought Travis Brown. In all honesty, Travis Brown isn't really all that. So, but quick question to you guys: Should I make a film study? on why 
should I make a film study where I talk about if Cain Velasquez will ever be the same again? Will he, will we ever see the top peak Cain again? If you guys are interested in that, please leave a comment down below and let me know. So, moving forward from this, he has fought twice in three years, which is not something to brag about. And honestly, I think the heavyweight division is slowly passing him by. And also, age is slowly catching up to him. He's getting there, he's getting up there in age. He's not as good as he used to be. Yes, we might say Stipe is older than him, maybe I think by one year, but Stipe is active. Stipe is always putting in the work. He has been in there. He's he's been in the mix for a minute. You know, he's never been inactive. I mean, he he's a he's a defending a fighting champion. Something Cain Velasquez, you know, has has troubles with right now. He's there are talks of him having spinal issues and whatnot. So the question is, is he even going to come back? Because he's been in bad shape. I mean, for 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 a good minute now. So if he's going if he's going to come back, I hope for him he's not going to get get a straight title shot. I hope not because that if that happens, I think Stipe will knock him out inside three rounds. That's what I think. The best move for Cain Velasquez is to come back and have at least two, one tune up fight, and then maybe fight Fabricio Verdum. Because we're, because we're doom has been putting in the work. He has he has fought three times last year, so he's probably earned his title shot, you know, by now. So you know him going up against Verdum for a title eliminator is not a bad idea. Uh, I talked about this in my last video. If this happens, hopefully it happens in in August or September. So by the time December rolls around, we can have Steve and Miocic fighting whoever is the winner and hopefully it is Kane and hopefully by then he will have all the rust knocked off all the all the all the little injuries taken care of and hopefully we will have the base the best Kane Velasquez we could possibly have because in my opinion the best Kane Velasquez is long gone I I believe he has had too many injuries he's getting up there in age he's too inactive he's probably have he's probably going to have a lot of ring rust and he's not gonna have the same success that he used to back in the day, you know. Because Stipe is, you know, a very well-rounded fighter, and that, you know, this doesn't mean he's not gonna beat him. Uh, in my video where I I'll talk about why he why he will win, um, he he does have a couple advantages. So, you know, it's good, it's just gonna come down to him being at his best possible self. Because we know what to expect from Stipe. He's always going to show up in peak conditioning. And peak form. So the styles, they are fairly similar. But they have their slight nuances. Kane is a bit better of a wrestler. But Stipe is a bit better of a, of a, of a striker. And he's, he's well rounded in that striking game. When it comes to the groundwork. Kane is a really, he's a lot better than him. When it comes to the cardio, well, we will just have to wait and see. Either I am undercrediting Kane's cardio, or either I'm just not seeing what 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 the what, what other people are seeing. So, another question for you guys: Do you guys think Kane's uh, Kane's cardio is as good as we think it is? Or as the people think it is. Leave that also in the comment section down below. And do you guys think we will get to see Cain Velasquez back this year? Do you guys think he will actually be back? Injury free and ready to go? Because right now there are talks of him having spinal issues. So this fight is relatively, you know, far, you know, far to reach. So, this is the video. I'm just going to wrap it up quickly. But before I do, you guys, I want to thank you guys for hitting 500 subscribers. I know right now at 640 subscribers right now, almost at 650, close to 700. I mean, um, the subscriber rate is going up tremendously. I want to thank everybody for watching my videos, leaving a comment especially because I really appreciate when I get comments and you know get to engage with other people and, and their opinions. 
Uh, most of the time, I'm getting, you know, just uh, flat out ignorant comments, which I, eh, look, you know, look past. But sometimes I just get great comments like from guys like um, DJC, Angam, I believe, um, Four Delta. You know, these 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 guys are really, you know, leaving great comments. Um, if you guys see him, see them in the comment section down below. Just try to engage with their comments in a nice way. And if you guys go, just leave a. If you guys are gonna leave a comment, leave a nice comment. Not nice in terms of you know being being you know generous to me. Just. Uh, in terms of you know nicely and nicely written comments and logical you know logical comments mostly so Keenan from Keenan K TV thanking you guys for all the support and the views and I'm off this peace